So as a female boss, not only are you an actor, producer, you're really taking control as far as giving other people opportunities. Yes. How That's one of my favorite things about the job, actually, is the mentoring. Um, Michael Rourke, who plays the lead of our movie, after this particular movie, I went on to produce two more in a row, and he was my mentee and ended up associate producing both of those films. See, that is so beautiful because I feel like one of the hardest things out here is finding a mentor and a lot of people feel insecure or scared about someone taking their spot. How was your first time as a mentor here? What was that experience right, like? It's my favorite thing about the job. It's the, it's the whole reason I do it. I mean, it's like, you know, I, it's, they're not kids. It, they're not like I don't know. I, I call them my chickens because it's like I love that. <laughs> Her chickens. Up. Yeah, your chickens. <laughs> like you're gonna you're gonna grow into full blown thing. Like, but there's there's always room at the top, and they to be honest, they take the load off. So of course I want them around. And it's not like you haven't done a lot yourself. You I feel like you've been in every show that's kind of gone classic, or even the reboots of them. Like classic. Um, yes, lots. Of, well, I think my early career was actually replacing people. Evolve. And like, but like on a hit show, like I was the second Lori Foreman, or like, so I kind of got the fun of walking into stuff that was already hot and adding new new life to it. Yeah, you were the breath of fresh air. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, to hear that. And okay, so I, you were in 90210, the more recent version, but now they're back with the original cast. Have you seen any of the of the first episode? That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I did. I did see it. And we'll leave it at that. So before I let you go, yes. what is one thing you want people to take away from Bennett's War or a reason why they should go see it? Oh, I think it's a, I think it's a classic hero's journey. And I think that what I love most about it is that we oftentimes focus on post-traumatic um, syndrome or po like post-traumatic downfall. And this is a story of post-traumatic growth. He conquers it. He finds himself all over again and ends up and doing it not for himself but for his family so there's huge heart as the daughter of a vet I really resonate with that so thank you for creating something that actually has meaning to it <laughs> go figure meaning in Hollywood yeah right <laughs> well thank you so much thank you congratulations thank you.